Kia ora. I bring you warm greetings from the OER Foundation in New Zealand. The Foundation is a small non-profit organisation that provides collaborative networking and practical support to governments and institutions around the world to achieve their strategic objectives using open education approaches. The OER Foundation deploys open processes and open technology solutions from concept to completion for all our courses. Over the last 10 years, we have assembled and refined a fully functioning digital learning ecosystem powered entirely from free and open source software. And today I would like to share with you how this component based system works. Our OER development work at the Foundation has been guided by two principles, collaborative development and design for remix. Consequently, our technologies facilitate detailed version control for subject matter experts and learning designers to work together in real time or asynchronously to assemble open online courses. Designing for remix as a point of departure combined with flexible components has facilitated multiple reuse and remix scenarios of OERU microcourses around the world. Let me show you how this works. All our materials are authored in Wiki Educator, an open wiki hosted by the Foundation and powered by the MediaWiki software also used by Wikipedia. This provides the version control we need for collaborative development. Online courses are assembled from an outline comprising individual wiki pages mirroring the navigation structure of the course site. New collections of wiki pages can be assembled quickly for different reuse and remix scenarios, facilitating customizations for different contexts. Interactive content elements using the popular H5P system can be embedded into the materials. The Foundation has developed open source scripts to produce a snapshot of any course outline of wiki pages. Course materials are published using WordPress with an OERU mobile responsive theme. Learners can access all content without the need to register a password or sacrifice personal data. Let's take a look at the Planning a Project Micro course on the OERU's WordPress course site, which forms part of the Introduction to Project Management course. For instance, let's navigate to the Resources Learning Pathway. The Resources Learning Pathway consists of a number of subpages. Let's head over to the Estimating resource requirements subpage. This is a typical course page comprising readings, a short interactive quiz providing immediate feedback to learners. There is also an opportunity for learners to connect with their peers by posting a Wiki Educator note. At the bottom of every OERU course page you will find a content link. The content link takes you to the source wiki page in Wiki Educator where the content was authored. Clicking on the View History link will take you directly to the version history for this page. In this instance, you will see that five people, two subject matter experts and three learning designers contributed to the page you saw on WordPress. We can click to see the detailed edits and changes made between different versions with the ability to revert any change made by the contributors. Finally, here is the outline showing the collection of wiki pages for the Planning a Project course site. OERU partners can request a snapshot 
to publish on their own WordPress site or the WordPress multi-site hosted by the OER Foundation here. At OERU, we support learners to learn on the internet, rather than via a single application like a learning management system. We want learners to develop digital fluencies and to retain access and control to the artifacts they produce long after the course finishes. We achieve this by distributing learner interactions across the web and using personal blogs as portfolios of learning. A range of best-of-breed open source applications are used for learner interactions, feedback and support, including forum software powered by discourse, social media using Mastodon, social bookmarking via semantic scuttle, web page annotations using Hypothesis, and a local commenting feature called Wiki Educator Notes. Our systems do not require learners to create accounts on any third-party proprietary services. We also host an instance of Big Blue Button, the open source web conferencing platform for synchronous communication. The foundation developed Wiki Educator Notes, or WeNotes for short, to aggregate interactions distributed across these technologies into a live Twitter-like feed on the course website with links back to the original posts or mentions. Learners can register their preferred blog feed URLs using the Blog Feed Finder software, also developed by the Foundation, which collects links to course blog posts published using the course tag. In this way, learners can find blog posts from fellow students distributed across the web. Let's take a look at the Digital Citizenship Microcourse, which forms part of the OERU's Learning in a Digital Age series. You will find the course feed under the Interaction menu on the course website. Learners can post Wiki Educator notes uh, on the course website, and we use this feature uh, for learners to share immediate reactions to course activities. Here you will see an annotation shared by Daniel using the Hypothesis open source web annotation tool. Clicking on the timestamp will take you to the annotation. Clicking on the link here will take you to the annotation in context. Here we see Daniel's annotation of a PDF document uh, via the browser. This is a contribution from Beth uh, to a forum discussion on discourse. Here is Beth's post to a forum topic on our discourse site hosted at forums.oeru.org. In another example, Moses posted a reflection on Mastodon, the OERU's social media site. This is Moses' toot, and learners can go to the Mastodon site to reply, uh, like, like, or boost the contribution. So on the right-hand side of the screen, you will find the resource link here. I can like his post by starring. Finally, here is an example of a link to a learner blog post. If you click on this link here, it will take you directly to uh, Dina's uh, blog post on her own personal blog, blog site.
In conclusion, we share all the code we develop openly with the community via our own GitLab software repository. You will find technical installation recipes and other useful information about our technologies on the tech.oeru.org blog site. In this example, you will find more information about the blog feed finder developed by the OER Foundation and where to get the code. Working together using free and open source software, we are building more sustainable education systems for all.